Welcome to the Rapid Change Matters Rapid Fire Question Round. Two minutes to expose the attitudes, beliefs, recommendations and perspectives of all things change work. My name's Howard Cooper and I'm joined today with... Give us your name and what you do. Daniel McDermott and I'm a hypnotherapist based in Lee City Centre. I help people overcome lots of problems. Thank you, Danny. Your time starts now. What's the worst advice currently being given out within the world of change work? That everything originates from childhood or that there's always biological origins behind a condition. When, in my opinion, the majority of conditions are psychosomatic and it's about shifting a person's cognitions. If you had to reread one book about change work a hundred times, what book would it be? Well, I haven't written the book yet, but... uh, There are books that I actually find really interesting that I've read. I'm an actually agnostic myself, so I'm not religious, but one of the most uh, profound books that I've ever read was uh, Mere Christianity by C.S. Lewis. It changed the way I was thinking about the way the human condition works. So even if you look at it as an atheist or an agnostic person, it's definitely worth a read. If you could have a personal one-on-one session with any therapist or change worker, past or present, who would it be? Albert Ellis. I love REBT. He uh, did some fantastic work. He seemed like a very funny chap. And you've got to like a fellow who comes up with a concept called masturbation. Quite right, too. Can you think of a concept or an idea that you used to believe was true, but you've subsequently changed your mind about? Um, With regards to hypnosis, when I started training, it was very much about relaxing a client and getting them to close their eyes and that's how trance works i believe that eyes can be open and hypnosis is happening all the time knowing what you know now what advice would you give to your 20 year old self Uh, don't try to grow your hair it's (laughs) never a good look never a good look it grows into a massive afro what is the most successful change work related result you've experienced yourself um Probably by stammering. I had a really bad stammer, lots of social anxiety, so I'd go out and uh, drink too much. So I built up my confidence and made sure that uh, I was thinking accurately about things and therefore my stammer reduced. Most important belief for a change worker to have? Um, that you can change a client with immediate effect, that they can make that immediate change and you can convince them that that is the truth. And final question, what do you believe is the biggest misconception people have about the work you do? There's always going to be that supernatural element to hypnosis. Sometimes people think I'm a bit of a wizard and you do a few party tricks and therefore, whoa, there's something supernatural about the man. As we know, it's about tricks of the mind. Time! Thank you, Danny. And to hear a big and fuller, more in-depth interview with all things Daniel McDermott, along with detailed interviews with other leading therapists and agents of change, simply visit www.rapidchange.works.